Hello, it's Bill Doggett, an African-American performing arts historian and early sound archivist dedicated to the documentation of the African-American presence in early sound, in particular, the classically trained African-American musician and artist in early sound. We're returning to the Black Swan label and to the wonderful baritone, C. Carol Clark's other side of the record that has already been sampled, the famous Negro spiritual Nobody Knows the Troubles I've Seen. This is the flip side of the same record, a very early release of the Black Swan label called By the Waters of the Minnetonka, a very popular song from the 19-teens through about the early mid-twenties that was performed and recorded by numerous white classical singers and other popular artists of the time. The Black Swan label is, of course, the product and brainstorm of Mr. Harry Pace, a African-American entrepreneur working in Harlem at the dawn of the Harlem Renaissance. It is Mr. Pace who has the vision to document and to provide a recording label for young, promising, aspiring African-American musical talent. It is one of the earliest of the recordings, and I am happy to share it with you. It is notably scored for violin, saxophone, and piano accompaniment. What's interesting that's uncredited is that the piano accompanist is, in fact, Fletcher Henderson, who was the label's record manager. It's a very interesting arrangement that is done likely by another employee of Mr. Pace for the Black Swan record label, the young composer William Grant Still. So let's take a listen to this historic and significant recording. <laughs> 